All right, YouTubers, this is Tim again, JL Miniatures. Um, just want to take and work on part six here. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work up a nice pink color so I can do the gums of this mangler squig. I'm going to take and use just a nice pink color. As you can see, I switched to a smaller brush. That way I can get in there and see what I'm doing a little bit nicer and a little bit easier. While I was off camera, I took and added some spots just to give it some variety, I guess. I wanted something a little bit different. Now here, this kind of reminds me of an old like a bulldog kind of type gum the gums kind of flapping in the wind kind of thing and of course that'll be different colored grays or not grays but pinks i'm sorry i just saw that pink right there on the gray and i said that it's one thing that you can always do is just kind of touch up as you go. Not a big, not a big deal. Easy enough to fix. I didn't go and uh, put the tongue on the inside of this one here, so it's got a got a big, huge. Sorry about that. It's got a big, huge hole, so. I'm just going to kind of let it be. It doesn't really matter to me. Anybody's looking down inside the mangler squig's mouth. Oh well. I figure there's enough detail on the outside here that'll should make up for it. I'm gonna take and dot the eyes. I definitely like the eyes red, especially with this blue. They really seem to pop quite well. And they definitely have that pissed off look <laughs> so on that note yep what we do now is just mix up a lighter pink and you can see in the background here you got that kind of the, the hotter pink to the warm pink to a real light pink and i'm going to go through and just kind of hit a couple of the higher spots right where the sun would kind of come down on it And I'm kind of just tapping it. I'm not really like here's the brush strokes, kind of like that, kind of wisping them out. When it comes to the gums and stuff, I kind of just tap it in place. It gives it a little bit nicer look than a than a straight on like paintbrush type swoosh. These might be a little bit hard to see on camera, but basically I'm just giving it a little bit of a highlight along the, the ridge right there. Same thing with down here. It's 
see how that makes it pop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch and go to the browns. I'm going to start browning in his teeth. Sorry if the camera goes out of focus here. I'm trying to do my best. Keep it on so you can see where it's going. Basically I'm painting the whole, whole tooth in. Gives a little bit more uh, paint on it. And uh, makes it a little bit easier for me to start seeing things since they're not blue. After a while this big mini, just seeing all blue kind of gets to you. So it's kind of nice just to kind of color in chunks of it. Get it out of the way. With me working like this, trying to do one uh, kind of body area at a time, it's kind of different for me. Sometimes I like to work on the whole mini at the same time as far as laying down the color and all that kind of stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of put this, I might have this out of camera here, but I'm going to try to get the paint all the way around this big tooth. That's the whole thing with Games Workshop. Sometimes that stuff is just almost impossible to get down inside there. It's like you can see it, but how do you get to where you can see? You almost need like a curved brush or something. Now I'm going to hit the tops and the bottoms of both these teeth. Just because they're so close in the front here. Try to get them all done the best I can. And this is the first color of brown on their teeth. Now these things aren't going to be sparkling white or anything like that. You definitely want to have more than one color. You definitely don't want to go with a with a white on these things. They don't have pearly white teeth. At least I wouldn't think they would. I think these things would be pretty gnarly and have a lot of plaque and whatever else they'd have on it stuck in their teeth. Some of these, you can see me kind of just dabbing back in here. It's because I see a touch of blue, so I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get in there as best I can to make the color look like it continuously flows. These are almost like a shark's teeth, where they're like a triangle. Trying to get a nice paint job on these. Taking the extra couple minutes to um, work on these definitely makes it a lot nicer as far as when somebody sees your miniatures, they're going to definitely see that you took the time to do it and do it right. I'll be dabbing some more paint in here. I see some blue. I'm trying to work right down in by the gums because I want to get a nice coat in there. Same thing with the top here. You can see right down inside it. I'm trying to cover up the blue. At least with the brown, it'll make it look a little bit more like it should. If you can kind of wrap it around and down inside, it makes it look more like a shadow, so it looks a lot better. That right there's the first shade of brown. Now what I'm going to do is mix up another one. 
This one's going to be a little bit darker than tan. And then we're just going to start going and pulling these colors down. So you don't have to go super light with them if you don't want. If you just wanted to have brown teeth, you could leave them like this. I always think they're going to be really gnarly and dark. And then once they get up closer to the tips, they'll be a lot brighter because they're going to be more polished because they use them. At least I think they'd use them more that way. Now this one will be several different colors of browns and tans and whites. Sorry about that again with the camera. And what I'm doing is I'm just basically lightening this up. And then I'm going to start working on all these little front teeth. These little front teeth are going in every which direction you can imagine. So that's why I keep flipping the miniature so I can get the best angle to get these teeth. They're going up, down, to the side. Some of them are broken. Some of them behind other ones. This uh, paintbrush I'm using right now is just a craft brush. It's a, an at. Usually that's as small as I go, as far as that goes. So I paint this miniature with a number eight and then just an at brush to finish out the details. All right, there's a second. You can definitely see those teeth in the front now. Those things are just gnarly as all get up. I'm gonna take and move it to another. You can see that palette back here. I'm going to a, a creamier off white. And then I go through and I'm gonna start hitting, hitting these bad boys in the front so you can kind of see how they're looking. I'm just kind of pulling them pulling the paint down I'm not trying to like use the whole brush I'm just using just the tip of it just so I can get in there and get some color on them just like so Same thing with this guy here. So this has got that big old cap on it. I don't know what kind of dentist would put a cap on a mangler squig, but hey, congratulations. I hope you survived. <laughs> it's pretty crazy seeing all this armor on teeth and all that. You can see me just kind of tapping it with my paintbrush. I'm just kind of putting the color on there. Along that ridge, I like to leave it like a super highlight so you can see down inside it. So you can see that how that tooth just broke off. Just makes it look a little bit nicer. Come back here and do another little spots of color here. 
Make these teeth kind of stand out. Sorry about I keep going off the camera there. I've got this phone like right in my face, so I'm trying to see. I can't really use the camera itself as a... I was trying to go through it with my eyes. It just doesn't work. It really throws the perspective off quite a bit. And that's pretty much how it's going to go. I might go with one more color just to really kind of make it stand out. Um, I'm going to come back with one final um, painting video, I think. Uh, just of the weapons, probably, and some. that's pretty much it. I'm going to finish the toenails and the horn off uh, camera. That is pretty much done just like the teeth I just did, so it's not like it's a big, uh, big difference or anything like that. So, But yeah, I'm just going to kind of work this big tooth give it some nice color give this one a highlight right on the front edge of it and then I'll be back to do a wrap up again this is Tim at jlminiatures.com uh, jlminiatures and if you would uh, please leave a comment I'd greatly uh, be glad to hear them I hope you like it and uh, keep continuing to watch. Thank you.